In 1775, American patriots of the 13 colonies took up arms to fight for independence. Defeating the military might of the British Empire was never going to be easy. But they had an unlikely ally, the Oneida Indian Nation. Hailing from modern upstate New York, the Oneida formed part of the Iroquois Confederacy, six Native American tribes and nations who initially chose to remain neutral at the outbreak of the American Revolution. But while the Mohawk, Anandaga, Cayuga, and Seneca tribes eventually sided with the British, the Oneida were one of the few Native nations to make the bold decision to back the Patriots. Having lost land and sovereignty to the British themselves, the Oneida had developed links with rebels in nearby Boston and were naturally sympathetic to their calls for independence. So when the British general Barry St. Ledger demanded to march through the Oneida's land to attack a rebel fort, they refused and sent scouts to warn the Patriots instead. Over the course of the war, the Oneida went on to provide food and supplies to colonial communities, work on their behalf as soldiers, scouts, and spies, and even rise as officers in the Continental Army, ultimately helping the Patriots to achieve the victory and independence they so desired. But in the years following the war, the United States proved to be much less loyal. It took over a decade for the federal government to pay reparations to help rebuild Oneida communities, while the Treaty of Canandaigua, which in theory protected Oneida territory from federal incursion, was repeatedly violated by both the state and federal governments, leaving the Oneida with a reservation of just 32 acres. How might the U.S. government better honor allies and recognize their contributions?